Hey guys, this is Brian over at Obedia, and I'm going to show you today how to create a click track in Apple Logic Pro. This is very quick and easy to do, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So I've got my Logic Pro Arrange window open right here. I've got an audio track, just a regular stereo audio track that I've created. And now I want to turn that audio track into a click track. Well, this is easy to do. Next thing I need to do is open up the environment. There's two ways to open the environment in Logic Pro. The first is by holding the Command or Apple key and hitting 8. This opens up the environment for me. Now, in lieu of that, I can also click on Window and scroll down and select Environment. So now the environment is open for me as well. So now all I need to do is drag the click track in the environment over to this audio track. You'll notice right here I have a track called Click. Now this is just a track that exists in the environment of Logic. The environment is essentially the backbone of the Logic uh, digital audio system uh, that is constantly handling your audio data as you're uh, recording and feeding it back out through your monitors, things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the track called Click and I'm going to drag and drop it onto the track called Audio. That immediately changes that track into the Click track. So now all I need to do is enable my metronome if it's not enabled. And when I hit Play, this is going to give me a Click track on this track 1 that I have right here. You see I can mute and unmute that track very easily. And there's a click track that I can work with. Now if I wanted to do a tempo change, here's a little bonus information, I can do a quick tempo change in Logic by using Global Tracks. Global Tracks is available in the Arrange window right here up in the uh, left hand corner. And I can expand that just by clicking on the little arrow. And then I'm going to expand the Tempo section. Now the Tempo section controls the tempo of my project. Now I've set my tempo to 120 beats per minute and it's very common. But uh, let's say that around bar 4, somewhere later in the project, I wanted to do a tempo change. I wanted to make the tempo faster. But I want my click track to keep up and also play back with that same tempo for me. Well, that's easy to do. All I've got to do is double click right here. That's going to create a new anchor point. Now you notice the number 120 is right next to it, but let's say that I wanted to bring my tempo up at around bar 5 right here. I can just drag and drop, and that does a quick tempo change. Now, when I play back the, my audio, my click track is going to follow along with this tempo and jump up to 136 beats per minute when I hit bar 5. And that's it. That's a very quick little tutorial on uh, creating a click track in Logic and making use of the tempo lane in Global Tracks. I hope this has been useful to you guys. As always, feel free to get in touch with me at Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Tutor or by email at brian at Thanks, and we'll see you next time.